Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Heavy Fire Shattered Spear. I'm not sure if I mentioned it when we looked at Heavy Fire Afghanistan, but the Heavy Fire games are a sort of long-running budget series of rail shooters. Uh, this one came out after Afghanistan and was also available for PS3 and Xbox 360, but I figured, hey, since we looked at the first one, let's look at another one. Maybe this one won't be so generically modern shooter, but somehow I doubt that. Uh, Alright. The prologue seems to be set in a city or something, so that's a good start. My name is Will, and I'm a member of hey the US Army 75th Ranger Regiment. I always knew I wanted to be on the front lines, and that's where the Rangers have been since Major Robert Rogers first organized us during the French and Indian War. I've been in Afghanistan since also, May weird audio thing, this is as loud as the voice volume goes. During freedom began. Conditions are harsh, and our opponents are tough. Difficult to attack and understand the terrain better than us. Some of the newbies swear they're invisible. If things weren't bad enough already, we understand Iran is going to be helping some of the local boys turn up the heat on us. But I say bring it on, and watch us bring it right back. No matter how rough it gets, Rangers lead the way. Always have, always will. Aw, shucks. So, just like Afghanistan, this almost seems to be like a recruitment spiel here at the beginning. Which, again, is weird because I'm pretty sure these are not made by an American company. So, maybe this is just the impression they get of the American troops. And waltz right out of the city before the Iranians even noticed they were gone. The idea was to hightail it to the Afghanistan border, where we could pick him up. He got about two-thirds of the way there, passed through the town of Tabas like some kind of ghost, but his luck ran out a few clicks down So to Tehran, that's, uh, that's Iran, right? He's pinned down by a recon team. I, I feel like I know the name of that city? Legs, it's time to lock and load. Well, hopefully this doesn't take place in a brown desert. Alright, so this looks pretty much the same. Uh, we can throw grenades with middle mouse. It's got the same cover system. And everything else looks the same. So this should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, uh, yeah, I ran. That guy is practically invisible. Right off the bat, do we actually have justification to be in Iran here, if this is just during the Afghanistan part of the war in the Middle East? Wait, so am I... Am I just shooting the Americans? I am the Iranian guy? Or am I the Iranian guy shooting Iranians? I'm, I'm a little unclear what we're doing here. <laughs> Again, I've got most of the volume turned up. Maybe I should turn up the sound effects a little bit. They're not at max. Oh, shit, I don't remember how to reload. There we go. Let me just bump up the audio here. That didn't really seem to do anything. Did I actually... No, I forgot to hit accept. All right. So that didn't really help much, but... Now everything is set to 100% volume, and I don't know why it's so quiet. Well, this is a little bit harder, or I'm just doing a lot worse. Alright, we gotta do a QTE. Get ready for it. Press W. Those guys were just waiting for me to jump through that window. Yeah, fuck that car. For some reason. 
Oh, my gun disappeared. So, this one seems to have minor upgrades in that there is destructible terrain. Which we get points for shooting. Well, these guys seem to be a better shot than the enemies were in the other game. It doesn't take them like 20 seconds to actually hit us with their shots. I probably should have shot that health. So yeah, I guess I was wrong about the whole Americans thing. They just sort of have similar looking uniforms. Though I guess we're still an Iranian shooting Iranians, right? I don't think we are an undercover American. Do I have a grenade still? No, I don't have any yet. I got a pickup bonus for blowing up the oh, for blowing up the pickup. I thought it was for picking something up. Well, that was certainly a high action and intensity mission. I was promoted to specialist. Our man made it out of Birjand with the nuclear plants and managed to cross into Afghanistan, but got scooped up by a particularly efficient group of Afghani rebel soldiers. Intel says they've moved him to a jail hidden inside the Naglu Dam, about 30 miles northeast of Kabul. The 75th has orders to rescue him, but it won't be easy. The rebels use the dam as a staging area, hide out, and keep a ton of weapons stashed there, so you can bet it'll be heavily guarded. The good news is we've got a few assets at our disposal, including a rigid hull inflatable boat, an AA oh, attack sweet. An inflatable boat. and a unit of motor. Now you know we're ready to party. In this kind of job, every second counts, so let's get to work. Hua. Uh... Do Rangers say hua, uh, or is that just a US Army thing? Or is that a marine thing? I'm really bad at memorizing which catchphrases belong to which branch of different armed services. It's definitely not who dares wins. Echo base, this is Centurion 3-1 Actual. We are closing to the target. Two minutes ETA. Is this an HMG or a GMG? Roger that, 3-1. You are clear to engage. It looks like a GMG, which is a grenade launcher machine gun. Contact! It's a GMG. <laughs> Alpha team is on scene. Repeat is planned. Over. Roger that, Alpha team. 3-2. This is 3-1. Three, we need support on the riverbanks. Too many tangos with heavy vehicles. Out. Got that, 3-1. Air support commencing right now. You know, somehow I don't remember them mentioning the Taliban having APCs. Location of our operators has been confirmed. Held somewhere in the dam. Secure all exits. Be ready for heavy resistance. Out.
I mean, yeah, they are old Russian APCs, but still. Also, it's kind of silly that we have an on-rails uh, turret section here in an already rail shooter. Like, we're basically invincible here. Nobody even shot at us. Get out of the boat! Go, go, go! Two, this is Alpha-1. We're proceeding to Sector Charlie. Over. Copy that, Alpha-1. We do have one I like how we looked at the guys that were shooting at us, and then sort of casually looked down while we were going up the stairs, like, yeah, let's take care of those guys in a minute. This gun does not sound any more dangerous than it did before. It looks better, though. It's a prettier model. Stars and stripes forever, motherfuckers. Didn't even kill all of them. Base. This is 3 1. We're in. The door was so polite, it just Come opened in. itself for us. Like women belonging to foreign nationals. Okay, <laughs> we're out of bullets. I really love that there is an Uncle Sam would be proud points bonus that pops up when you kill like four guys at once. This is like a uh, outsider's look at the what they interpret as the extreme patriotism of the United States. I mean, suppose technically I'm an outsider too, but, you know. From across the pond. Alright, and bullets again. It's okay, this pistol is super effective. Damn it, I missed that ammo. Someone pointed out that the guns in Heavy Fire Afghanistan sound like airsoft guns, and I'd agree they pretty much sound the same in this. Contact! Lots of contact. Oh, okay, we just stopped on that floor to kill them. Quick time the hell out of those doors. Echo base, this is 3-1. The upper levels are clear. Still no sign of our target. Probably he has been moved out of AO. Yep, that still looks like a dam. Man of action. Are these trucks even trying to run us over? Oh, okay. Oh my god! The dam is collapsing! Oh my god! I like that that guy's still casually sitting there with his hands on the wheel. He's like, yep, I fell over. You know, it's hardly the most ridiculous thing that happens in video games. Someone jumping into a helicopter and grabbing the sides. The dam is destroyed! But... Our target is on the move. I repeat, our target is on Still the move. probably pretty impossible. Also not sure why the dam even collapsed. Nothing exploded. It just sort of, okay, I'm done being a dam now. Let forth the waters of life. And now I'm the sergeant. Moving up in the ranks. Now, I 
there was an armory option on the main menu, so I'm wondering if we can... Oh, okay, here we go. Never mind. I'm gonna say if we can upgrade our guns. Okay, so we can't upgrade our guns. Oh, yes, we can. We can switch to a SCAR instead. Or we can make a faster reload or extra magazines. Let's go with the extra gun, because I didn't do that in the other one. The Rebels' destruction of Naglu Dam was surprising, but not entirely unexpected. The good news is our eye in the sky has tracked our agent to a Lakari village in the southeast, near the Pakistani border. We have orders to find our man quickly, quietly, and no civilian casualties. Air support isn't available, but we do have a stationary gun at our disposal, which I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. With any luck, we'll be in and out before moonrise. I guess nobody cares about the effects of the collapsing dam on all the villages and stuff around there. Hint, use the cover system to not get shot. Use cover to shoot people better. Command, this is Fighter 114. We've left the tunnel and entering the village. And once again, we're in a mounted gun. Tango's ahead! It's a trap! Yep, that's some trap. Fifteen, this is one fourteen. Cover us from right flank. We're going deeper to village. Over. All right, I guess we're just gonna leave the Humvee here. Oh, hey, another guy. Let's go, go, go. There is a lot of bloom in this level. Get cover! Reloading! I know there's another guy up there. Squad on me! Let's go! I guess I was gonna say it's a squad of one person. Watch out! Oh no, that small timber almost crushed me. Killing their people, destroying their houses. What else can we uh, ruin about these people's lives? I mean, yeah, they are shooting at us, so they kind of deserve it. Oh jeez, I'm gonna die horribly. Grenade out! Nope. You've been defeated. I guess I'm not really using cover as effectively as I could be. More tangles inbound! Get cover! Alright, duck here, take out these guys, grab that ammo, then stand up, turn, throw a grenade, duck. What was in that jar? It exploded. Um, Alright, our I'm breaching shotgun. In. Oh wow, this is the wimpiest shotgun ever. <laughs> it's like it's just firing CO2 at them.
I feel like we wouldn't even need to destroy the hinges there. That door looked pretty weak. Could have just blown it apart. There's a gas can behind that guy's dead body that I can't shoot. Just because. All route secured. Watch out! Alright, that room just exploded for some reason. Keep moving! Command, this is Fighter 114. Omega 1 is secured. Heading for objective Omega 2, out. I'm trying to remember what game it is where it had some sort of score bonus where when you were doing really well an American flag would pop up on fire or all sparkly. I think it was some shitty PS2 terrorist hunting game where you went around punching Saddam Hussein or Osama bin Laden or something. I cannot remember what the life for the life of me what it's called. I think it has terrorist hunt in the name. Hey, I leveled up. Get cover. Machine gunner. Nope, oh, out of bullets again. I don't think any of them actually hit me yet. Cover me. I'm going in. At this point, I don't even know who we're talking to. <laughs> oh, I shot the hostage, didn't I? Whoops. I'm gonna have to do that stupid turret section again. They're everywhere. Don't shoot the hostage this time. 114 to command. We've got the target. Good job, 114. All right. I think that'll do it for heavy fire, shattered spear. It doesn't seem, you know, a horrible thing. Again, it's a rail shooter. You know, it's a rail shooter going in. Then you can't really be disappointed when it's just a rail shooter. Um, this is available on Xbox 360 and PS3. So, like I said. I imagine this is probably a little bit better with like a PlayStation Move controller, which I guess it's designed for. You know, those sort of forced motion controls. But, you know, it seems a little bit better than Afghanistan, which makes sense because it came out like a year later. Or two years later, I think. And at the very least, it's probably a good way to uh, farm some achievement points, if you're into that. But, uh, yeah. This is Heavy Fire Afghanistan, or Afghanistan, this is Heavy Fire Shattered Spear, which is not Heavy Fire Afghanistan, which we've already looked at. Anyhow, you folks have a good day, and uh, play some good games.